Hello everybody, welcome to my channel where we talk about upper body parts and fashion and style. So I know you're ready for this jelly, so let's get started. Okay, the first one is very obvious and I know that a lot of people probably already know this, but I have to mention it, so I'm just gonna get out of the way, but you gotta have a good bra. I know you're like, oh wow, thanks, lightning moment there. You probably need more than one good bra. You need like two or three because actually if you wear the same bra every day, it just weighs on the elasticity. Is It doesn't have time to like kind of shrink back together and it ends up going bad or I guess you have to replace them more often. So you definitely need more than one good bra. The heavier you are up here, the more gravity is going to want to pull everything down. Thank you, gravity. And you're going to need something to support it and lift you up and if you have bras that are five years old or even a year old, they probably are already allowing everything to kind of like not, not be where they should be. I am very guilty of this. I keep my bras for forever. So currently at this moment, not right now, but in this time period, I am testing out a whole bunch of bras because I'm on a mission to find some good bras and hopefully they won't cost a million dollars. I will probably make a YouTube video. So if you want to subscribe down there, you will get notified when I do figure it out. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet but I'm trying several out. Now, if you'll notice, I am wearing a strapless bra at the moment and it has not slid down my chest. So I'm actually wearing, I was actually looking for the bra, but it's on my body, oh my gosh. I did not sleep last night, by the way. It wasn't anybody's fault but my own. I had three, yes, just three glasses of wine last night and it totally wrecked my sleep. It woke me up at 3.30 in the morning. I have not been to sleep since, but this is the only day I could do a video, so I just went ahead and did it and I layered on the makeup and, uh. I was just determined to find a strapless bra that I can wear because there's so many cute tops that you kind of have to wear a strapless bra with. And I was so sick of wearing a strapless bra, which I have one from Victoria's Secret from like 15 years ago, literally 15 years ago, that just rides down my body. It will not stay up. And so I refuse to wear it. It's really annoying. So I Googled, of course, best strapless bra, best strapless bra for big boobs, best whatever. Um, so I had a lot of things come up. I ordered the one from Amazon that was supposed to be the number one strapless bra. It was a Calvin Klein. Didn't work for, did not work for me. Apparently it works for other people. One was, hang on. I got this little guy, which is supposed to be the best one, like on the web. Um, I totally should have returned it and I completely, I, well, I, what I thought was, I thought this was the best it gets. And I'm like, I just, I'm gonna have to deal with a strapless bra just riding down my body. It's called the Up Bra, and I feel like lots of people on the web liked this bra. So your body's different than my body, my body's different than your body, and apparently on a lot of bodies, this bra works. And it has like, so much stuff going on. It has like a kind of a padding thing in it that would like lift you up, and it has these adjustability things. There's some removable, removable straps somewhere, don't know where those are, but this literally, I mean, I'll put it on and before I can even put on the shirt or dress or whatever, it's already like down here. Like it's, it did not work for my body. And I don't know if maybe it's cause I'm like a V shape up top. I have no idea. Anyway. So strapless bras, right? I suggest you have your body. I have my body. We're all different. I can give you suggestions on what works for me, but you have to try out a bunch of stuff for yourself, find out what's comfortable for you. I will actually list some down below that I have verified from friends that they love. This one is by Lively. This is a really, really simple strapless bra. It's like $35. It's just simple. I don't know how to, to, to describe it, but it stays up. I mean, to be honest, like if I'm spending all day in it, I'm sure there's gonna be a few times a day where I'm gonna be like, eh, but it's nothing like that bra or those other bras that I know you know what I mean. You sit there and you're tugging at them all day long. You wanna make sure the company has a good return policy so you can return them if they don't work, but you wanna just order a whole bunch, try them out and send them back. One of them that has stood out amongst the crowd is Wakol, Wak, Wakol, Way, well, I have no clue how to say it. I'm gonna post it on the screen. Note to future Anna, put that on the screen, maybe figure out how to say it. But they have bras that go up pretty far and they're super supportive, they're really good quality, all that good stuff. I'm gonna link a few in the description box so you can check them out. And those are apparently really good. 
especially if you have a, even larger cup sizes like you know E, F, G, H, all that good stuff. Okay, so I think I've beat a dead horse. <laughs> I've beat it to death, you know. Tip number one is to find a good bra, or several. Okay, on to tip number two. The second must have if you have a large bust area is to wear v-neck tops. You need v-neck tops in your closet. By the way, if you haven't seen my video, um, how to style a large chest, I also talk about it there. You should go check that video out after this one. Don't leave my video yet, just wait. I'll put it at the end or something. V-neck tops are actually surprisingly very flattering if you have a large chest. So I'm not talking about like down here and you know, everything hanging out. Future Anna will model some v-neck tops to show you what I mean. And I will put them in here. But v-neck tops bring the attention up here to your neck and to your upper chest area and your face, your beautiful face. So it's not gonna be all right here. So also, I don't know about you guys, for me, I have D, sometimes double D, um, cups, but I also have like a wide back and sort of like a wide rib cage. So a lot of shirts, a lot of tops, if they don't have a stretchy fabric, they tend to pull and it's really hard for me to like to wear them. So in addition to V-neck tops being flattering is that they also just have this extra space and it just kind of gives me more room to like move around, you know? And then the other good thing about V-neck tops is that again, the attention is raised up here. And if you're like me and you decided to eat all the things and drink all the wine during quarantine and you gained a few pounds, you can kind of take some attention off of maybe your waist. Must have number three, if you have a large bust, is or are jersey wrap dresses. Let me explain. If you have a large chest, which you probably do because you're watching this video, then you know that a lot of fabrics that are not stretchy are kind of hard to wear because they, again, restrict your arm movements and they just make everything a little more uncomfortable. So jersey wrap dresses, reason why it's a jersey wrap dress is because A, it's got the stretchy fabric, B, wrap dresses are super flattering when you have a large chest, or even when you are even like a little bit heavier, like, like I am now than I was because I ate so much of a quarantine. Um, but they're just really flattering because it puts the emphasis right here, which is gonna be the smallest part of your torso. You again, you need to try on jer the different jersey dresses to find out which one looks right on you. I will link some below. But basically you're bringing the attention to the V-neck up here. You've got room to move around. Then you've got kind of an hourglass figure because you've got the waist being right here and it's not, I mean, of course, I'm sure there are some that go lower, but the wrap dress is usually going to go about right here, which is usually the smallest part of your waist. And I just feel like they're very, a very easy staple to have in your closet that aren't going to go out of style. They're not super trendy or anything. I mean, they might be more popular at other times, but they're not going to like go out of style. Tip number three is to hit the thumbs up of this video if you like it or thumbs down if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe. Just kidding. Get a good tailor or just get a tailor. If you were to get something and you love the style, but it's just not quite fitting right, or maybe you get it to where it fits here, but then it's big everywhere else, you can easily get a size that fits around here, take it to a tailor, and then they'll just take it in a little bit so it fits you everywhere else. Or maybe take the sleeves in. That shouldn't be too hard to do as long as they're not completely having to reconstruct the entire garment. You can tailor anything and it's really not that expensive, but I would suggest doing this with uh, maybe a capsule wardrobe or some pieces that you really think you're gonna keep in your closet for a long time that can go with everything that aren't super, super trendy so you're not gonna get tired of them. Something that you're gonna keep for years and years. Okay, tip number five is to put the focus somewhere else besides your chest. So if you have eyes that you love for people to gaze into or hair that just billows in the wind and it's beautiful locks, or you have legs for days, put the focus there. So wear the short skirts or play up your eyes or do your hair. I know this seems super obvious, but it really does, if you really focus on that and you focus on, I'm gonna make my eyes pop or I'm gonna make my hair look bomb or I'm gonna make my legs like look gorgeous, then the focus will not be quite so much on your bust area, but more on those other parts of your body. 
tip number six is to put some effort into your style. There's no magic bullet here. You need to work on finding what you like and work on your own personal style so you can create a look that looks like you and you feel good in. Because if you have a good, balanced, fun look that you feel good in, your, the focal point is not so much gonna be like right on your boobs. It's gonna be everywhere. And for an example, I know that you've seen people and maybe you're one of them. I have also been one of them and I still am one of them sometimes, but you just wear like a baggy old shirt and throw on some shorts and some flip flops and you just throw your hair in a ponytail. When you do that and you have a big chest, people see your chest. Like that's literally the first thing that they look at because there's you're not giving them anything else to look at, first of all. So they're probably gonna just notice that you have a very large chest area, which is fine, but if you're just trying to minimize it or you're trying to make create more balance, work on your style and try to figure out what you like, what prints you like, what you know body styles you like and that kind of thing, and make everyone's focus be more whole look. Tip number seven is to invest in some, I shouldn't say invest because these aren't that expensive, but get some good solid tops. The reason why, and I also mentioned this in my other video that you're gonna watch after this, is that solid tops can be put with printed bottoms and if you put a printed or a print on the bottom instead of the top and you put the solid on the top, then it creates a balance in your look. So the eye is gonna be drawn to the printed bottom and just kind of ignore this part up here. It'll just be kind of like a complement to the bottom. So if you have solid tops that will go with all those printed bottoms, you will always have something to wear, but also they're just really good basics to have in your closet. And also solid tops, you can get them in stretchy fabric and they're really comfortable and you don't have to worry about all the trying to fit into all the wovens and the fabrics that want to constrict us. Tip number eight is to avoid tops that have a bunch of ruffles and frills and all that stuff because it just adds bulk to you. We think it's cute, it's all like on the rack, and we're like, oh my god, it's so cute. And then we put it on and you're like, oh, it just, it's like I, I end up looking like a bear or some kind of weird animal, I don't know. So the next tip, if you are gonna wear a high neckline, and high necklines are in, and maybe you wanna show off your shoulders with one of those mock neck kind of shirts, make sure it has a print on it. You don't, it doesn't have to have a print on it, but if you have a print on it and it's a small print, it's going to kind of minimize your bust area and take the attention away from right here and it just kind of spreads the attention out and maybe put some on your shoulders or some other part of your body, but it doesn't make all the focal point be like, wow, that lady's got some like big boobs over there. Tip number 10 is to avoid wearing oversized tops and dresses. It seems like this would be a good idea, like wear oversized, it would just camouflage everything, but for me, it just makes me look like I gained 25 pounds while I slept last night. Like it just, it does not look good on me at all. I'm assuming that you probably have the same situation. So what I suggest if you do have a lot of tops and dresses or dresses that are oversized and they're really baggy, try to belt it right here in that smallest part of your waist. You could always go to a tailor and try to get them to kind of just bring it in a little bit to make you look like you have more of a figure. Um, and just don't buy anymore. <laughs> so for more tips and tricks on what to do with your large chest area, your large bust, I've posted some other videos that are gonna be up in this region, woo, magic, that you can watch and let me know what you think.